Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Simon and we are the Worlds of Wall Street. Video today is on Alluvium, that is ILV on the exchange. So there's obviously been some drastic changes in the price point, which we'll go on to in a moment's time. We'll look at some opportunities or potentially some buy areas, as well as what we think may happen in the coming weeks, if not months as well. But first of all, let's just have a quick lowdown view on what's occurring on Alluvium right now. Of course, the game hasn't launched yet. I'm not entirely sure the exact dates because I think they changed a couple of things recently, but um, very much hopefully still on in track for the next few months, hopefully, at least for the beta stage or beta stage as well. Um, so looking forward to that. Some nice uh, actual game footage here that you can watch, which is really cool. Um, but also uh, what hasn't happened yet on the Alluvium site is the ability to buy land um, and also the actual DEX platform's not live yet either. So plenty of things to get excited about, but I can imagine that a majority of people have already got their Alluvium in staking pools already, obtaining more and more Alluvium ready and waiting for those opportunities. Um, so of course you've got like the usual aspects of uh, private sales and investor sales first, and then of course public as well at some point. But some really cool stuff, uh, some visuals here in the back end of things like uh, maps that are uh, land that are available, some more artworks around some of the creatures that are potentially available in the game as well, um, that are looking really solid. But there's a couple of other things here. Uh, Alluvium aren't having a great time today in particular. Um, so there's been a number of scams. There's you know, so many scammers out there at the moment. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I use, uh, because I'm in the crypto space now full time, I'm using Discord um, a lot and Telegram a lot and the amount of scammers there are. It's like if you go and ask a question for help on anything, you get like a million people messaging you separately saying that they are from the support team or this, that and the other. It's just like all I would say, guys, is just be wary. Um, just make sure you're actually on the official sites don't give any information out whatsoever in regards to addresses or anything like that. Um, there was one um, that nearly, nearly tricked me um, a while back. And uh, literally, he was just like um, claiming he was helping. He was like, it was, it was about OTX actually. And um, we'll cover that in the staking video in a few days' time. But I'd created a mobile wallet and also a PC wallet or a desktop wallet. And um, I wanted to combine them and then he was sending me these links to like bridge networks like he was like yeah you yeah, know this this is a true site and it looked legit i'm telling you now this site looked legit and i thought hang on a minute it's asking me for like all this and that and the other and i was like who are you and then i ignored him and then the next day his profile picture had changed uh, to someone completely different so i think he went from his name was barry to something like alicia or something i was like oh hang on a minute uh, something you haven't told me, mate, or you're, you're a scammer, and there's just so many. So just be careful. But Alluvium are having an issue here. You can see on Twitter, this was literally an hour ago as a recording, but scammers around left, right, and center, especially in the staking pool. So a lot of people jumping into this SILV. Um, so very much um, something going on in the background here where people are going on the unofficial pool site. So do make sure if you're an Alluvium holder or you're one that's trying to stake Alluvium that you make sure you go through the correct channels. And all I can recommend really is just utilize it through the website. Just go through the staking platforms correctly, connecting your wallet correctly to staking uh, proper official websites, not any fake stuff going on there. But security flaws, working hard to rescue the SILV pool. Attackers were able to steal some of the funds, but not all of them, as we execute a swap of our own. So um, let us know in the comments below if you've been affected by that. But they're very quick on the ball for this one. And of course, um, they're even having trouble here on Twitter. Support Twitter accounts. It's amazing. You can jump on these things. MetaMask is the worst one. If you mention anything in a comment about a problem with MetaMask or a complaint, you will get bombarded with messages saying, oh, we're here to help with, or go to this person. Completely ignore them whatsoever. Um, go through the official channels, the official port support mechanisms of all these projects. So that's what's come out of that. And that might be a bit of an indication as to what's going on in the chart as well. So we'll have a look at that 
uh, in a moment's time. We'll switch over to uh, what we've got here. We're using the Qcoin data. So let's just go straight into that right now. Uh, do make sure, by the way, if you haven't done so already, that you like and subscribe and, and uh, to the channel. We do love you guys on board and hope you enjoy the content. We've got a multitude of different projects that we talk about all the time, including gaming and especially awesome ones like Alluvium. So where are we with Alluvium right now? Well, I've drawn in this depressing line here, showing you the percentage decrease since these higher levels back here in the 30th of November. Can you, do you remember the excitement around Alluvium when it broke past that 1,000 barrier? To be honest, pretty much anywhere really. But look at those existing price points on KuCoin and how much it drove up. And remember the video that we did back here to say, look, nothing goes up forever. I was very conscious of the fact that we had gone in this major price discovery mode. Of course, people wanted to get involved in the staking. A lot of people didn't know what was going on. And there's, of course, the aspect of like, how much do you need to buy land? How much do you need to buy this and that? So you, know, you can imagine the amount of money that has been thrown into this. And what's happened, which is what we pretty much said in those videos, is that at some point people are going to be like, oh, hang on a minute, the game's not launched or they can't get some of the land or whatever they're trying to do. Um, and then they get bored and they just take it out of their portfolio and they move it somewhere else and cut their losses as it were. So we've had this tail down here that we saw in November. We covered that. We covered this gigantic rise as well in the previous video too. But we did say there was potential opportunities on the way down. That is what you guys asked for. And I think we drew in some uh, interesting buy opportunities. We think we hit one of them personally. And I do indeed have one very much near where we are right now. It hasn't quite got down to it so i've actually got one um just just for the record for the, let me get rid of all these price points on the right hand side here so when my mouse is dead so i'm using my touchpad it's all crazy here's wires everywhere anyway 990 dollars is where we're at right now it sounds a bit crazy but i have indeed got a buy order around here just over uh the 950 mark so around 954 and i will indeed be putting one around um a, a lower region of just under the um, 900 mark as well. I'll explain that in a bit more detail in a second, but we've got to do that in progressive stages if it at all happens in general anyway. But why are we back here right now is of great interest to me because we're in a very unique position. We're coming back down now to an area where we saw resistance previously on a track down and then we bolstered back up. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to hit there and jump back up again. It's absolutely a possibility. But in the downward trend that we're in, this is something that we've really got to consider um, if we're looking to try and invest in the alluvium. So if I'm not holding it in the alluvium right now, um, albeit I'm holding some, um, I'm looking at this uh, from the chart perspective, where are we right now? So at the moment, the MACD is in a bit of a bearish momentum, as you've seen. It's not looking massively pretty, but at some point that's got to stop as well. Just as much as we go really, really high, there's got to be a position at some point on the way down. But we, we don't know where this is because we've had so much price discovery on that way up. Um, the way down's just as crazy in terms of a price discovery on the way down as well. So at the moment, the RSI is around 36, which is very low on that 14 day. The 28 day is looking quite stable, albeit if you pull back down to these regions, maybe 17th and 18th of December, around that 48 mark, 50 mark, um, is very average and level headed. But we are now pre pulling this way back. This is why I put the prices in a bit lower um, because we are looking right now it's very close to trying to pull that blue line here on the MACD. Uh, let me see if I can pull that uh, maybe up a bit more for you guys. Maybe I can't. There we go. So the, it's narrowing slightly. Okay, so we've had a big influx of selling back here and we've had a miniature one here as well. What's really pleasing to see is these volumes aren't as big selling off as they were here. So that's given us a bit of positivity in there and that's why we're seeing um, the, the gap narrowing. So we could be on the brink at this particular level that we've already earmarked up here. I'm just going to remove the the drop down percentage that we've got here. So we're, we're focusing round about this mark here that we see on the lower region around 980. OK, so that's why I said I've got mine around 950, very much the low end of these two markers here. You see here on the L at the top, 969 and 962 were the low points of these two days on the 18th and 19th of November. So that's why I'm looking at those particular areas. 
and that's why it's indicating around here. So what can we conclude on the 14 day we're on 36? For me personally as an investor, um, I'm always looking around that 40 region on a 14 day to look at any two week kind of gain opportunities. Uh, so we've already broken that barrier and coming down. So this is starting to be a really good dollar cost averaging perspective on the way back down, as well as that 28 day. So on a monthly, we're approaching that sweet spot of 40 in my mind as well. So I've got two triggers here in the sense that I'm happy to be buying a small amount right now, or certainly in these kind of regions within sort of 20, $30, uh, give or take. Uh, but for me personally is waiting on that 28 day. See if that comes down nearer to 40. That's where I think we might drag it back down to the sort of 960 mark, potentially, sorry, 960, and then debate with itself what are we doing with alluvium this is a critical point in my opinion because we are literally hitting that resistance point like i said that we saw in november uh, with the, before the pull up so either alluvium's got to bring out some really interesting news or developments uh, but one thing's for sure that hasn't really helped the situation is today's announcements of the potential scams everywhere some people lose confidence some people are just like this is crypto space you've got to deal with it as long as i get my tokens back that's fine but there's a multitude of people out there that will panic because they may have spent you know um a significant amount of money just to get even one alluvium it's not my place to say who's what's a good price what's a bad price because people's value and perception of money is different um i think no matter how rich or poor you are a thousand dollars is a lot of money um, in the grand scheme of things so you know you just got to think about that as a variable but like i said on the rsis down here in the macd it's it's really leveling off and i'm really excited to see what happens because i do have my buy orders down here um you know of course and that, that's the beauty of it is 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 being patient being respectful to the to the market um and getting opportunities in both both sides so like i said at this area i'm not i'm not too displeased to be putting orders in around here with the anticipation that we might drop down a bit further um but then then you'll start looking at some pretty crazy price lower drops is around 699 maybe 823 but i'm first of all seeing where we go here first before i make any more moves on the lower spectrums because what you've got to anticipate at this stage is the up or down it's really that simple um, so you don't want to put too much in because then you might m miss out on lower drops, but equally, um, you don't want to put too little in, in case it jumps up. So you just got to have a bit of a balanced mind in this exact current position we're talking about right now. So this is not financial advice, it's my opinion and the thoughts that I'm looking at uh, as an investor of Alluvium. I think it's a phenomenal project. I think the development and the, the future of Alluvium is going to be absolutely gigantic, especially when those land sales begin. Um, land sale in the metaverse and gaming in general is absolutely huge when it comes to blockchain so i can see there's definitely in the near future maybe in the in the months to come great opportunities for this to bounce up upwards again for sure but that's where we are right now we've had the come down because of the big price discovery we've had about 50 percent reduction so far we could see up to maybe 70 percent potentially and that's where i think we may grab some bargains around 950 maybe even down at this eighth 800 odd level as well um, and that just tails in really with these very small very minute areas of resistance and support that we saw back here it's really staged guys because um here in, in terms of like it's upward trend because it is literally just guessing work in some cases right now all we can do is play to the ear of what's happened historically with the little data that we have to say that this is an area of interest if we if it breaks past this barrier we could see an influx of downward movement further uh, because there's just no support we, we're literally looking at that area and this very small area it's not enough in my opinion so keep an eye out for that that's not to say alluvium is a terrible project but if you're an investor and you're looking to save money here and there or or gauge the market these are the things you want to consider so that's where i'm wrapping that up guys we'll do an alluvium update in a few days time or certainly towards the end of the week or the weekend because i'm really interested to see if we get our buy orders in and we will report that to you guys in the next video but until then guys hopefully you've enjoyed this one go check out our other videos as well but until the next video guys thank you for watching and we will see you all in the next alluvium update video take care guys and bye bye